Hello, my name is Dr. Vinod Malik, a clinical fellow at the Department of Surgery at St. James Hospital and Trinity College, Dublin. I'm working towards a PhD in surgery under the supervision of Professor John Reynolds and Dr. Kieran Johnson. My area of research is evaluating the role of PET, also known as positive emission tomography scans in esophageal cancer. Cancer of the esophagus is a common gastrointestinal cancer. It affects more than half a million people worldwide and Ireland has a high prevalence of esophageal cancer. Each year there's an increase of more than 2% of patients with newly diagnosed esophageal cancer. My name is Dr. Karen Johnston. I'm the lead radiologist in the PET-CT Center at St. James's Hospital. PET-CT examinations are the most sensitive method for detection cancer within the body. It combines PET scanning with CT scanning. CT scanning or CAT scanning gives us information on the structure of the body, whereas PET scanning or positron emission tomography gives us information on the function of cells. Patients receive an injection of radioactive glucose, and as cancer cells normally metabolize glucose quicker than normal cells, a PET CT examination can detect areas of cancer within the body. Here at St. James's Hospital and Trinity College Dublin, we are evaluating the role of PET scan in the management of esophageal cancer other than being a simple diagnostic tool. When patients are scanned by a PET scan, we encounter hot spots in the body, which can either represent cancer spread from the esophagus or new cancers. We are trying to understand the effect of such newly identified cancers or PET scan may have on the overall management of esophageal cancer. We are also evaluating the role of PET scans to assess response to treatments like chemotherapy and radiotherapy in esophageal cancer. If we are able to identify patients who do not respond to such treatments by means of a PET scan, we might be able to either alter or stop such treatments. This would also help patients in being exposed to unnecessary radiation and chemotherapeutic drug side effects. At times, PET scans are unable to detect esophageal cancer and we are evaluating why this might be. In order to do this, we are examining the esophageal cancer tissue in the lab to ascertain possible molecular reasons that make such tumors undetectable on a PET scan or the other possibility being that the technology of the PET scan is such that it makes small tumors undetectable. I'm also looking at the cost effectiveness of performing a PET scan in a patient with esophageal cancer. As each PET scan costs a thousand euros, we are trying to ascertain if this is money well spent. It's my hope that my research in the area of PET scans is able to show that they are more than simple diagnostic tools and their use can be extended in the management of esophageal cancer patients.